investigation leads to dozens of arrests, including several police officers in Helena, West Helena. Good evening and thanks for watching tonight. I'm Beth Hunt. And I'm Scott Inman, live in West Helena, Helena tonight, where this was a federal investigation and a federal crackdown on drugs and corruption that the U.S. Justice Department says reached all the way into the Helena Police Department. Five of the city's police officers, among 70, indicted on drug charges. 51 of those rounded up in arrest today. Channel 7's Jason Peterson was here early today bringing, uh, bringing the latest to our viewers on uh, KTV.com and also here for the press conference. And this was uh, a long investigation culminating and really just starting today. Yeah, Helena, West Helena Mayor Arnell Willis says this is a dawning of a new day here in the Delta and in his community. And while 70 indictments is certainly significant, he says it is only the beginning. A day four years in the making began at 4 a.m. with helicopters, black Suburbans, percussion grenades. A day four years in the making began at 4 a.m. with helicopters, black Suburbans, percussion grenades, and the arrest of over 50 people, including five police officers. These 70 individuals charged today are not the end of this investigation. They are, in fact, the beginning. They are the first weeds we are pulling up. The five officers arrested include Sergeant Robert Rogers, also known as Bam Bam, and Lieutenant Marlene Cobb. The indictments state that they are accused of dealing cocaine and aiding drug trafficking into Mississippi. Part-time patrolman Herman Eaton is accused of dealing heroin. Part-time patrolman Robert Walls accused of accepting bribes to facilitate drug trafficking and distributing cocaine. Captain Winston Dean Justice is the other West Helena officer indicted. Police Chief Ulysses Wallace shared a message for both the community and the rest of his department. If you're doing something wrong, we're going to find out. I have to win the honor and respect back of this community. Uh, I came here September 1st with that mission in hand that I will provide them with what they're supposed to get. And the chief concluded that uh, by saying if there are any other officers that are corrupt in his department, it's his job to root them out. I should make one correction. It's Captain Winston Dean Jackson, not Winston yeah. Dean Justice. U.S. Attorney uh, Christopher Thayer making clear that this was only the beginning. And you spoke with the new police chief here, and he was very forthcoming to you. Yeah, he said it's phase one the, of the federal investigation, but the chief was not a part of this investigation. He's got his own internal investigation going on. He said of the five officers indicted today, he had suspicions about some of them. However, he also added that he has suspicions of some officers who were not indicted today. And as part of phase one, there are 14 suspects who remain at large. So phase one is not even over before they get to the other phases of this investigation. Already a very significant bus that could only get larger. Jason, thanks very much. We'll see you again at 6 o'clock. And officials do want your help today. We found out special agent in charge Valerie Parlave of the FBI did ask for uh, Arkansans' help if they suspect that there is corruption going on near them. And here's the phone number she gave us to call. 501-221-8200. Or you can email littlerock.rock at ic.fbi.gov. Let's go over that one more time. Little.rock at ic.fbi.gov. Another, another very revealing moment in today's press conference came when U.S. Attorney Christopher Thayer talked about how he grew up here and he had heard stories of corruption all his life. He chose for a long time before he became the U.S. Attorney not to really believe them, but kind of indicating that he was not at all surprised that things like this were about to happen. Channel 7's Katharina Yancey joins us with more on the community's reaction, and that seems to be the resounding theme here today. Well, that's right. That's what I'm also hearing as well. Folks born and raised here say they're not surprised. And I also spoke with folks that came out from the community to the press conference at 2, but they were turned away. People tell me that they were disappointed because some people arrested in Operation Delta Blues are their neighbors and people they trusted like officers. Claudine Williams says those people arrested, that the rumors are true of corruption in all these years and it's time to take the community back. This is a small town. We need our town back. You can't sit on the porch. The kids cannot play. And there's something happened to your kid, my kid. I'm sorry it's not going to do it.
right now, folks here are very divided on who to trust. Like you just heard, the chief of police here says that there could possibly be more arrests made right here in his own department. And tonight, coming up on Nightside, we'll hear from a woman who says that she heard an ex- something that sounded like an explosion at about 4.30 this morning, mm. but it was people serving search warrants in her neighborhood. All right, Kat, thanks very much. Definitely a very wild day here in eastern Arkansas. And the theme really is that it is just beginning. Phase one, U.S. Attorney Christopher Thayer also kind of laying down a warning to would-be criminals that the federal government is here and they are here to stay, indicating that the local police department had wanted the help for a long time and the Justice Department Justice Department has stepped in. A big bust here today and maybe more arrests are coming. That's all for now from West Helena. Helena, back to you, Beth. Okay, thank you. Scott Inman will be checking in with you a little bit later in the show. Good evening once again. I'm Scott Inman live in Helena, West Helena tonight, revisiting our top story of a major federal crackdown on drugs and corruption. The U.S. Justice Department unveiling details of Operation Delta Blues here today, which includes the arrest of 70 suspects. Uh, the arrest, rather, of 51 suspects, I should say, but 70 suspects were indicted as part of Phase 1 of Operation Delta Blues. And of those 70, five were members of the West Helena, Helena Police Department. They are part-time patrolman Robert Walls, Sergeant Robert Rogers, Herman Eaton, who is also a part-time patrolman, Captain Winston Dean Jackson, and Lieutenant Merlene Cobb. They are accused of everything from taking bribes to actually dealing the drugs as well. A major investigation that we are told is four years in the making, and once again, it was emphasized today that this is only phase one and more arrests and more indictments could be on the way. We'll continue to follow this story and have the latest for you tonight at 6 o'clock, including a first-hand account of what the scene looked like when all of these suspects were being rounded up and brought to the same processing center. But for now, live in Helena, West Helena, I'm Scott Inman for Channel 7 News. Back to you, Beth. Well, Scott, just a quick question. The U.S. attorney seems so emotional in this press conference saying he's from here. It just seemed like a very personal thing for him. I would imagine that's the same for a lot of the people who live there. What are they saying? Well, I think you're right. I, I, I listened to the press conference and I got that as well. I think Christopher Thayer, the U.S. attorney, took great pride in these indictments today. And there was a throng of residents outside Phillips County Community College today where that press conference was held. And uh, almost to the person, they were very happy to get uh, some of these folks off the street. Folks, they say, have been ruining uh, their community. And you'll continue to see more reaction from them tonight at 6 o'clock. Okay, Scott, thanks so much. An area so rich. In history that has so many positive things. So uh, hopefully we'll, we will hear those stories come out of that area as well. More than 50 people, including five police officers, arrested in a major bust in eastern Arkansas. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Hunt in tonight for Christina Munoz. And I'm Scott Inman, live tonight in Helena, West Helena. And Beth, this was about drugs and police corruption. A federal grand jury handing down 70 indictments as part of phase one of Operation Delta Blues here in eastern Arkansas. And of those 70 indictments, 51 arrests were made by midday today. And five of those were members of the Helena, West Helena Police Department. Channel 7's Jason Peterson has been here all day covering this story for us. And Jason, residents here must have Woke, awoken, awakened to quite a commotion. Yeah, nobody in the community knew it was coming, but most of the community knew when it was happening. In fact, uh, early this morning, former Mayor James Valley tweeted this. He said, helicopters, bullhorns, sirens, and handcuffs. It's a bad day for somebody somewhere. Now, this is being called over and over the first phase of Operation Delta Blues. More arrests are likely, including possibly more arrests of police officers. Police Chief Euless Wallace was not part of the investigation that indicted five of his officers, but the chief is conducting his own internal investigation. Some of the officers indicted he had suspicions about. Some officers not indicted he has suspicions about. Uh, I'm here to clean house. Uh, I'm going to start inside. I'm going to work my way out. Uh, These actions that happens today, just the beginning. Uh, I'm still doing my internal uh, investigation with my uh, administrative captain. And uh, if if there's any that's missed, I'm going to get them. Today's indictments and arrests are merely the beginning. We believe there are more cases of corruption 
and we intend to press forward with our investigation to weed out those who would sacrifice their oath and violate the public's trust. A coordinated raid of 800 started before dawn. Those caught were processed at the Natural Guard headquarters. All will appear in federal court in Little Rock on Thursday. Today I'm real pleased with this going on, and that's why I say to you, welcome to the dawning of a new day in the Delta. And I'm very appreciative that they're here. And many of the folks we've visited with expressed great appreciation for the officers who were involved in the raids and making the arrests and great disappointment in the officers who have been indicted. Now, Jason, what do we know about the five officers? Well, here's what we know. We know their names. We know their ranks. Three of the indicted are, in fact, officers. Sergeant Robert Rogers, also known as Bam Bam, Lieutenant Marlene Cobb, and Captain Winston Dean Jackson. Two of the others were part-time patrolmen, Officer Herman Eaton and Officer Robert Robert Wall. Now, the Chief Wallace has been here since only September 1st. He was the police chief in Marble. He brought Officer Wall over with him to join the department here. So certainly he was surprised at least by that arrest, yeah. if not the others. And they are not being held here tonight, is that correct? No, they have been processed and transferred to Pulaski County. They're either in the Pulaski County Jail. In fact, the officers, as well as the other 45 who have been indicted and arrested, are being held as close to Pulaski County as possible because, as we mentioned, they'll all have their first appearance in federal court this Thursday morning. Morning. All right, Jason, thanks very much for your reporting tonight. The mayor apparently telling the U.S. attorney, according to the U.S. attorney, that it was a culture of corruption here. And the U.S. attorney even alluding to having grown up here, he always growing up heard rumors about police involvement in drug deals. So the residents here may be not shocked at today's developments, but as Channel 7's Catherine Yancey joins us with more on reaction here in the community, they certainly had to be jolted by what was going on early this morning. Yes, well, it's been nonstop activity activity all day. Imagine waking up to what sounds like an explosion but feels like an earthquake. Well, that's what happened to Joe Smith today. He says about 4 a.m. he was woken up, but he later found out it was from about a mile down the road where a warrant was being served. He says that he owns Smith Pecan House across the street from the armory where the 51 people arrested were taken to be processed. He says hundreds of people have been in and out of the armory all day today, including at least 100 to 200 cars caravaned. Yeah, I mean, we, we need this. I'm proud. I'm proud they're doing this. Uh, it's, uh, I wish they'd done it 10 years ago. But it's, the thugs are pretty much have taken over. It's been bad around here. Folks in the community appreciate all the investigation that's been going on. And like we mentioned, this is the first phase. And right now they're hopeful that this will clean out the community. Because like you mentioned, that this community has gotten a reputation for uh, having corruption. Yeah. To Katharina, thank you very much for that reaction. And uh, that was stressed today and almost a warning issued by the U.S. attorney that putting drug dealers on notice that the federal government is here and they are here to stay. He was, Christopher Thayer, the U.S. attorney, asked to put this in perspective, historically speaking, was this one of the largest busts in Arkansas. He didn't want to go there. He just said, Beth, it was a significant bust. But 70 indictments, it's got to be one of the biggest. Got to be. Okay. Scott Inman live tonight. Thank you. Well, in addition to the five officers, these are some of the more than 40 others arrested in today's raids. They are from mostly eastern Arkansas towns like Helena, West Helena, and Mariana. Three are from Little Rock. Charges range from drug trafficking to possession of a firearm. All are now being held in the police. Pulaski County Jail, one by one, they will be in federal court Thursday morning. If you would like to see today's press conference and for the most complete coverage of today's bust, log on to our website, katv.com. Federal investigators say they busted a drug ring in eastern Arkansas that involved Helena West Helena police officers. Good evening and thanks for watching. I'm Beth Hunt. Christina is on maternity leave. And I'm Scott Inman. The Justice Department announcing the arrest of five members of the Helena West Helena Police Department today who were allegedly either accepting bribes to allow the flow of drugs to continue or dealing themselves. The five were part of 51 suspects arrested on drug-related charges this morning as part of Operation Delta Blues, a four-year investigation that U.S. Attorney Christopher Thayer says is only beginning. Thayer says Helena Mayor Arnell Willis and other city leaders came to his office a month ago not knowing that this investigation was well underway. The mayor and his delegation told us all kinds of stories about things that were going on in Helena, West Helena. 
But really, what I think the mayor wanted to tell us most was not what was going on. The reason for his visit to my office and the reason for the delegation's visit to my office, I believe, was to ask for help. And they apparently got that help. New police chief Eulis Wallace was also unaware of the federal investigation. In fact, he was and still is conducting his own internal investigation of the department. Chief Wallace says he had suspicions about some of the officers arrested, and he says he has suspicions about some officers that were not arrested. Here's Channel 7's Jason Peterson. Percussion grenades rocked this location. Slot machines were seized from this location. And all arrested were taken to this location, the National Guard Armory, where they were processed and later transferred to central Arkansas. The arrests include five Helena West Helena police officers, Sergeant Robert Rogers, Lieutenant Marlene Cab, and Captain Winston Dean Jackson. Also indicted were two part-time patrol officers, Herman Eaton and Robert Walls. The officers we arrested today are accused of protecting some of those 50 criminals by taking bribes to look the other way. New Helena West Helena Police Chief Ulysses Wallace has lost five members of his force literally overnight. And more arrests and vacancies may be coming. I'm here to clean house. Uh, I'm going to start inside and I'm work my way out. Uh, these actions that happens today, just the beginning. Uh, I'm still doing my internal uh, investigation with my uh, administrative captain. And uh, if, if there's any that's missed, I'm going to get them. Until then, those charged so far will appear before a federal judge on Thursday. Jason Peterson, Channel 7 News. And Special Agent in Charge Valerie Parlave said that if you know of any corruption in your town, you should call 501-221-8200 or email little.rock at ic.fbi.gov. Well, the investigation dubbed Operation Delta Blues has been open, we're told, for 48 months. But residents in the community say rumors of corruption have been circulating there for decades. Channel 7's Katherine Yancey with continuing coverage tonight on the reaction to the raids. Hi, Kat. Scott, that's what it was, rumors. But now there's proof not one person I spoke with was surprised by today's announcement. But now they fear if this is just the beginning, how safe are they if some suspects are not going down without a fight? I heard a big boom sound, and I laid there for a minute. Francine Hawkins heard what sounded like explosions at about 4 a.m. blocks from where she lives. I got up and went outside. I see a helicopter over the house. It was some of the 800 federal and state agents using force to arrest 51 people in five counties. At least two suspects fired at police, grazing one officer in the leg. They shook our windows, and they were at least a mile away. Joe Smith's business is across the street from the armory where everyone one arrested was taken to be processed. Of those, five officers are accused of taking bribes and protecting criminal activity. Not surprised at all. Claudine Williams says there are a lot of break-ins, drug problems, and to sum it up, criminals have taken over the community. But Tuesday, 51 of them were bussed out of town to the Pulaski County Jail. You don't know who to trust now. You don't know who to trust. So what, would, what do you do? Many citizens tell me they're looking forward to a clean start with a reputation for taking back their community. Scott, there are more arrests expected, including 14 fugitives. Well, and we heard today authorities say some of the criminals arrested have even committed murder, but were never completely prosecuted. Were those murders in the county? Well, they're staying very tight-lipped about the ongoing investigation, but confirm there are several unsolved murders, and they will look into them to see if there's a connection to this investigation. Okay. Katharina, thanks. Once authorities rounded up the more than 50 defendants, they headed west. Then, one by one, they were booked. Channel 7's Stephanie Simone joins us live at the Pulaski County Detention Center, where they are all housed tonight. Stephanie. Hey, Beth. Yeah, they were all driven here to the Pulaski County Detention Center. That's because they have federal court on Thursday morning. So today we spoke with some political leaders, local law enforcement, and even the governor about what they thought about these raids. Take a look. As the vans pulled out, the mugshots rolled in. The faces of Operation Delta Blues. All suspects in a drug ring, most are from eastern Arkansas. Now they're behind bars. That's why I say to you, welcome to the dawning of a new day in the Delta. And I'm very appreciative that they're here. The arrests came west as three were put in cuffs early this morning in Little Rock. 
There's a lot of cooperation from a lot of agencies, and uh, we're very pleased to see these things go this way. And news quickly spread. Governor Mike Beebe says he's proud of law enforcement, but disappointed in the five officers indicted. If they are ultimately proven guilty, it's uh, uh, you know it's it's a it's a bad situation when public officials are are found guilty of anything like that. The FBI says about 20 corruption cases are active in the state, and that means more charges may be on the way. I think there'll be some more. Uh, arrests and more information forthcoming as people uh, start to talk about what's been going on. Now the FBI spokesperson Stephen Frazier says there's still about a dozen fugitives on the run and to try and help catch those fugitives they're going to post their pictures on the FBI's website to try and round them up. Beth. Well, Stephanie, more than 50 are there now. We hear so much about jail overcrowding. Did the Pulaski County Jail actually have space for all of those inmates? Yeah, I actually asked Lieutenant Carl Menden with the Pulaski County Sheriff's Department that exact question. He said they do have enough space. They just lucked out and happened to be not as full this evening. But there are 50 more inmates here at the Pulaski County, County Detention Center. Beth? Okay, a little more crowded in there. Stephanie Simone, live tonight. Thank you. Well, authorities mentioned this was just phase one of Operation Delta Blues, and they expect more arrests will be made and more charges will be filed as well. In all, more than 50 people were arrested today. As Stephanie mentioned, three of the arrested are from Little Rock. Five police officers are also among those arrested.